there have been plenty of players who have made a good impact on their team, but few can say that they've changed that team's narrative. Today, I'm going to break down five players in the league today who have changed the narrative of their franchise forever. Before the video starts though, we are going to be doing our first giveaway once we hit 100k. All you need to do is take a screenshot of you subscribed with the bell notification on and put it on your Instagram story. Then follow and tag us both for a chance to win an NFL jersey of your choice. It's easy to name players who have already retired and been inducted into Canton. So today, I'm only going to focus on active players in the league. The first player on this list seems to garner just as much hate as he does love, and that's the savior of Cleveland himself, Baker Mayfield. It's no secret that the Cleveland Browns had been an absolute disaster before the arrival of Mayfield. The Browns had only made the playoffs once since re-entering the league as an expansion team and ultimately lost once they got there. To make things worse, the addition of Hugh Jackson as head coach didn't make things any better. Jackson went 1-31 over his first two years, only beating the Chargers Chargers in an RG3-led victory. However, things in Cleveland continued to crumble. The Browns got the number one overall pick at the 2018 NFL Draft after going 0-16, which led to them selecting Heisman Trophy winner Baker Mayfield. Mayfield took college football by storm during his time at Oklahoma, bringing his team to a 12-2 record and winning the Big 12 Championship over TCU in his senior season. Mayfield was loved for his passion for the game, and it's safe to say that he brought that same leadership and fire to Cleveland. Mayfield didn't start right away, however, sitting behind Tyrod Taylor to start his rookie season. But after Taylor got hurt, Mayfield came in and led the Browns to their first win in over 600 days in a win over the Jets. The Browns went 7-8-1 during his rookie year, the best season in Cleveland since 2007, and a major improvement from the season prior. Issues came about in 2019, however, with the disaster head coaching tenure of Freddie Kitchens. But luckily for Cleveland, that was short-lived. It seems as though the Browns truly found their identity following the hiring of head coach Kevin Stefanski. With Stefanski at the helm, Mayfield easily had the best year of his career, while leading the Browns to an 11-5 record and ultimately their first playoff win since re-entering the league. Mayfield is young, and this is just the beginning for this Browns team. The next player is also a 2018 draftee, and that's Josh Allen. The Buffalo Bills were also a lackluster organization prior to Allen's arrival, and hadn't won a playoff game since 1995, which was only two years after Buffalo famously managed to lose four Super Bowls. Buffalo had only made the playoffs once this century, before using the seventh overall pick at the 2018 NFL Draft on Josh Allen. Allen had a ton of success during his time at Wyoming, showcasing his skills on his way to leading the Cowboys to a victory over Central Michigan in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Allen started his rookie season as the backup to Nathan Peterman. Luckily for Bills fans, that lasted a few quarters after Peterman managed to record a 0.0 passer rating. Following the terrible outing by Peterman, Allen was named the starter in Week 2. The Bills ultimately went 6-10 as Allen attempted to find his footing in the league. While 2018 may have been underwhelming, 2019 was a breakout year for Allen. He helped the Bills go 10-6 and, and make the playoffs before they fell to the Houston Texans. But that wasn't the end of the line for him. Allen didn't slow down in 2020. He went on to be named a second-team All-Pro and led his team to a 13-3 record alongside new offseason acquisition, Stephon Diggs. Buffalo went on to win their first playoff game against the Indianapolis Colts and followed it up with beating the Baltimore Ravens. The end of the road came when they eventually lost in the AFC Championship to the Kansas City Chiefs, but like Mayfield, Allen has the potential to dominate his division for years to come. Cam Newton turned the league upside down with his arrival, but how did he impact Carolina? The Carolina Panthers are one of the youngest NFL franchises entering the league in 1995. They had a lot of early success though, making three NFC championships and a Super Bowl during their first decade. However, after 2005, the Panthers' luck quickly changed. Carolina didn't win another playoff game for seven years, eventually leading up to an abysmal 2-14 season in 2010, which secured the number one overall pick at the 2011 NFL Draft. With this selection, the Panthers took Heisman Trophy winner Cam Newton. Newton was electric and and went on to win Offensive Rookie of the Year and dominate for the Panthers. Carolina went on to make the playoffs in four of five years with Newton behind center, which included a wild 15-1 season where the Panthers were easily the best team in the league. 
Newton made the Panthers a fun team to watch and brought in a lot of fans that are there currently. The Panthers may have lost the Super Bowl, but there is no question that Newton made Carolina what they are today. On the other side of the ball, Von Miller helped solidify a dominant Denver defense. The Carolina Panthers weren't the only team to find a franchise-changing player in the 2011 NFL Draft. Directly after the Panthers drafted Newton, the Denver Broncos took Von Miller with the number two pick. Miller was a monster at Texas A&M before coming into the pros, tallying 181 total tackles and 33 sacks over his collegiate career. Once in the league, Miller immediately won Defensive Rookie of the Year for his stellar season, and since, Miller has been one of the best players in the league. So far, he is a seven-time All-Pro and helped lead the Broncos to a Super Bowl victory where Miller won Super Bowl MVP while helping drag the Denver defense to a win with Peyton Manning. Miller didn't play this last season due to injury, but the impact he's had on the Denver franchise cannot be understated. Last but definitely not least feels like a no-brainer, Tom Brady. Brady has built one of the most successful careers we have ever seen in league history. The New England Patriots took Tom Brady with the 199th overall pick in the sixth round of the 2000 NFL Draft and got an absolute gem. Brady went on to win six Super Bowls for the Patriots, playing in a total of nine. Brady, paired with head coach Bill Belichick, created the greatest dynasty the NFL has ever seen. After 20 years with the organization, Brady decided to take his game elsewhere and left for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We could very well leave Brady's legacy in New England, and I would have rather he'd stay in New England as a Patriots fan, but it would be just plain dumb to not acknowledge what he's done in Tampa Bay. In his first season with the Buccaneers, Brady led his team to an 11-5 record and took the team all the way to the Super Bowl where they defeated the Kansas City Chiefs and Brady walked away with his seventh Super Bowl ring. Nobody is more of a franchise changing player than Tom Brady and while his career will soon come to an end, his legacy will live on forever. It's no question that all of these guys made a serious impact for their franchises. The ability to will your team into a winning position is not one that just anybody has the capability to do. These kinds of talents don't come very often. So when a team does get one, they better make the most of it. Thanks for watching. If this video gets 1,000 likes, we will do a part two. And don't forget, if you want a chance to win an NFL jersey of your choice, take a screenshot of you subscribed with the bell notification on and put it on your Instagram story. Then follow and tag us both.